Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 And uh, in this episode I want to talk about of portable gaming Now a lot of people would agree with me when I say that uh, portable gaming is the next best uh, thing Or, it, you know, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be great But when I say portable gaming, it's, it's you know, it's next best thing I don't mean portable consoles, I mean phones, mobiles Mobile gaming is now, uh, you know one of the greatest, you know, gaming things ever. However, gaming consoles seem to portable gaming consoles uh, like Nintendo 3DS and uh, the PS Vita seems to, seem to be failing. And the reason for this is, uh, and the game cut off here, like to change hosts, so I had to uh, join the two footages. And uh, so what what happens, you know, with PS Vita and uh, basically Nintendo 3DS. Well, they are failing as we speak to sell. Uh, what does this mean? Nintendo 3DS. The Nintendo has already released a report saying that it's doing very, very poorly. Uh, the sales are to PS Vita sales were never doing good in the first place. It's just way too expensive, and the console doesn't bring uh, enough games or you know enough things to get people interested enough into it. However, game uh, mobile gaming seems to be doing well in the sense that uh, I don't know, like simple games, simple like Java or Flash games, they're doing excellent in the mobile industry. Why? Because you know, they're simple, they are uh, accessible and some of them are even free. Most of them are free. You can pay them but uh, yeah but I did my previous video about free console games. We don't have any free console games, and we should because we have PC games and we have phone uh, free mobile games, and they work. They make money to the people that develop them. So we should definitely see some on a console. But that's a, another topic that I've talked before. What I'm talking about is mo uh, portable gaming. When it comes to portable gaming, consoles are failing, mobiles are going up. Why are consoles failing? I mean, is it because they're, they're not they're overpriced? Is it because they're they don't have good games? Is it because they you know they're not good enough? Um, there's a lot of factors involving into this. One of them is yes, they are expensive. I'm not gonna pay the same price for a portable tiny console that I can have that the battery lasts for like 20 minutes. Then I can buy an Xbox or a PlayStation 3. Those are way powerful consoles. I can do a lot more and it costs basically the same or even less now that's w that's one of the things even Sony doesn't want to admit that the price is a big factor why they're not selling any more PS Vitas but um, you know that's that's their prerogative they don't want to uh, admit that that's fine they do admit though that the sales are very very poor same with the 3DS um, I don't know I think what they are relying a lot is in gimmicks the 3DS it has a 3D element which is uh, Bad, and I've played with the 3DS, and yeah, I, I got dirt eyes, so my eyes went all gave me headaches. I just I I could not get to the 3D uh, setting of it. Just it's not for me. The PS Vita is another you know uh, augmented reality bullcrap, and yeah, they, they rely on gimmicks too much. And if you learn anything, players don't like gimmicks; they like good games. So that's it for this video, guys. It's just a really quick video if you if you see I already joined Midways anyway. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe and like the video. Peace.